Hi everybody, this is Eugene O'Loughlin, Lecture in Computing at the National College of Ireland and welcome to my series of short how-to videos. In this video, we're going to learn how to create and modify a tree map in Excel 2016, now part of Office 365. So before we start, let's take a look at some data. Normally we want to create a tree map uh, to represent hierarchical data. So our hierarchies are here on the left hand side in columns A, B and C. So at the top level of the hierarchy we have genre, so we can see that we have uh, these uh, uh, data by the way are taken from MicrosoftOffice.com's blog uh, showing a breakdown of hierarchical data with tree map and sunburst charts. The link is at the top of the screen here. So our genres are things like arts and photography, children's books, and so on. And then you can see then that the next level in the hierarchy is that there are sub-genres in, in most of the genres here. So for example, we can see, if I highlight them here, in, uh, I'm going to highlight them in yellow, uh, the children's book genre. So the genre is children's books, and it has four sub-genres, baby books, age 3 and 5, age 6 to 8, and pre-teen and teen books. And we can see that one of those sub-genres is further broken down into topics, first readers, ABC, and Tolstoy for tots. And then in column T, we have the revenue in dollars for each of these areas here. So we can examine the data here and see uh, how the hierarchies are worked out. But it's hard to kind of figure out what's going on here without a visual and what type of chart would be best, to, best for this. And we're going to use a tree map chart here. So first of all, let's select all our data. So cell A1 down to uh, D29 in this case here. Basically, I'm selecting everything that we can see. Then choose the insert ribbon across the top of Excel. And over in the center, there are the, is the charts panel. So click on the bottom right hand corner. You'll see a little arrow there uh, that says see all charts. So click on that and that will show us some charting options uh, in Excel in the insert chart window. Now we don't see a tree map in the uh, recommended chart. So we need to go to the all charts tab. And then down along the left hand side here, you can see uh, for, uh, down near the bottom is the tree map option. So select that and that shows us a miniature of the tree map. That is our starting point here. So then select OK. So that generates a, a, a tree map for us. I'm just going to make this a little bit bigger. And we can now see um, a tree map chart li like this. It's going to provide us with a hierarchical view of our data and make it easy to spot patterns such as which items are a store's best sellers. So you can see those in the large panels that you see here. The tree branches are represented by rectangles and each sub branch is shown as a smaller rectangle here. And this tree ma map chart displays categories by color and by proximity, how close they are together, and can easily show lots of data. And this would be very, very difficult to show in other types of chart. So let's make a couple of changes in this, just to tidy it up before we finish. We could end here because this is our tree map, but we want to make some small changes to it. So first of all, I want to change the chart title um, because this is uh, book sales. So I'm going to type in book sales here. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger by going to the home ribbon and changing the font size from 14 to say 24 and making it bold just so as it stands out a little bit more at the top of our screen. So now our, our tree map has a title. We can also, if we're not happy with the color schemes that are here, we can also make change to the colors. So an important uh, t tab or for us up here uh, is for you to select the uh, chart here. So make sure it's selected. And that will mean that the chart tools, design and format tabs will be displayed here. So click on the design tab. And you can see uh, over on the left hand side, there's an option to change colors. So click the down arrow here and you can scroll over here and see your charts changing for the different types of color up at the top here. We've got four options to have different colors for each of the boxes. Or if you prefer a monochrome approach here where dark represents higher values and so on, uh, you can choose all of these here. I'm going to accept the default value here and select the first first line. You also have some options here with the style, so you can click on the options here and that will change styles for you. Um, I'm just clicking on them as I'm going through. Um, I prefer this one here, the black one. And uh, this one here uh, it is, uh, it illustrates our detail, but you can choose the type chart style that suits your particular uh, data. You might be presenting this in a presentation or in a document or in a report or simply just sending a, a chart. So choose carefully what works best for you. Um, I can also do things on the chart here, like uh, format the data series. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, right click on the chart and choose format data series. 
and there's an option here for us to place the label options. We can see here, for example, if we look at children's books, the label is here in the top left hand corner of the largest box and then that label then represents all the other values in orange here on the left hand side. So I could have a no label if I want and that makes that disappear and it does in all the others. Uh, or I could create a banner to add them in here. You choose the type that works best for you. So I'm going to leave in the banner here for a moment just to show um, how that works. I can also at any time here I can select any individual box to highlight that and it'll de-highlight all the other options if I want to say for example concentrate on one area just to see how that is relative to the others. Now one thing that you don't see on this tree map here are the actual values in dollars for revenue on this and you won't see those on a tree map like this. You'll only see the categories. The size of the boxes represent the total number of sales. So any of these that I roll over, I can see for example I've rolled over the ABC's topic which is part of uh, the subgenre uh, age 3 to 5 which in turn is part of the genre children's books and I can see that it has a value of $10,000. So if I change that over here in the table in cell D16, uh, let's say I change that to uh, $15,000, okay? What you will see here uh, in this section here, watch out for a change here when I hit return. And you can see that ABC now is now a, a larger figure than the Tolstoy for Tots category. So it, uh, it gives a bigger square or a bigger rectangle in this case, and also in the hierarchy moves above the option Tolstoy for Tots because it now has a smaller value. Finally, you might want to change the location of the legend, which is down across the bottom here. It gives us the categories because some of the smaller boxes might be difficult to understand. So if I go over to uh, select the chart again, choose the design chart tools option, and on the left hand side here you can see you have add chart element. So select that, and there's an option here under legend to change the position of the legend. You, if you want it across the top, if you want it to the left, if you want it across the bottom, I think it might look nicely across the top here, so I'm going to select that, and that finishes me with my chart. So that's how you create a tree map in Excel 2016. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for your attention.